What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft with the Beast Infinity. How is everybody's day? Mine has been good, good, good. And yeah, so let's get things started. So last time uh, I did review my video a little bit and it was very confusing. <laughs> it was because I was trying to squeeze in as many things as possible in that video. And I could not get to all of it. So yeah, last time we were making... We were playing around with miscraft and we got into it a little bit and I, unfortunately at the end of the episode very early there there was a little mishap what happened was the what happened um yeah i i did not set a waypoint like that spawn boys i did not set a waypoint and i kind of lost my way <laughs> but i eventually found my way back so it's not not all bad so it is some libraries we have to go find but that will be another episode i wanted to give you guys an update on the spawner this is how conveyor base belts look like so the blaze would spawn <coughs> anyways the blaze would spawn fall down here and then fall down here and then go straight into those little spikes I'm trying to not to damage myself fall into those spikes get like to half a heart or one heart or something and just punch them to death and then yeah and then if i could put a siphon or make another sword of some looting on it then it'd be great so we can loot more blaze rods and stuff so we can continue with our life <laughs> anyways um today what we're going to do is we're going to look at the smeltery today I know I said it in the last episode, we're going to do it, and we never got around to it. I apologize. And let me just go ahead and, and I can probably stick these things in here. Like so, like so. So that is for future things. I uh, also made this uh, redstone clock just to, so it can tick that off for me so I can make clear glass. The reason is I made way too many freaking glass here. And we got also some molten stuff. Which we are going to look at but yeah oh yeah this is the room i built and i plucked in the smelter right over here with two faucets and whatnot so i'm tortoise there in the back but on the, on the ground there is some um, nooks down here all the way around and i think in the middle as well but anyway so yeah we were looking at oh well, i was looking at to make some iron and stuff and big iron you can only find in the never, I think. Never pig iron. And if you smelt that down in a smelt tree, then you would make freaking, uh, what is it called again? E steel. Molten steel. And then you can craft very, very great weapons and stuff out of that. And for the life of me, I cannot find any freaking uh, never or never pig iron. Could never find it. So I went down a little rabbit hole. If we go look at it. Uh, just going to steal. Okay, so I was looking at the Tinker's Construct one and I was going through everything and then I saw the smeltery and the molten steel and it's like, okay, how do you make this? How do you make this? And I went through all of these things and it's like, uh... But then I got to... Which one was it? Where was it now? Yeah, just looking for it quickly. Was it this one? Yeah, refined iron. And I saw that. So like, okay, how do you make that? And it's like, uh, okay, uh, no, 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 no. Then redstone furnace, and you have to find that. And then it's just like, no. Then I saw the induction smelter. And it's just some iron, and uh, pulverized iron, or iron powder, and charcoal. And it gives you one iron ingot. And I was like, okay, let's do that. And I went ahead and pulverized some iron over here. And in the pulverizer rails, would you do it? <laughs> Pulverize some charcoal and iron in there, and then I made myself an induction smelter, and this was a rabbit hole on its own. And if we go look at the recipe really quickly, look at refined iron, and we can see, just quickly want to go through all of these, the induction smelter requires 8,000 RF. And this guy was only producing around 4,000 RF. And what I did was... I was like, oh, then you have to go build a bigger, better one and all those kinds of things. And then it turned out that you didn't need to. You just go ahead and put in these augmentations. And it would times two and times four energy produced and fuel consumed or whatnot. I wasn't too worried about fuel. I can always go to the mine and get more charcoal and get that generator running. So anyways, uh, what I basically did was 
the upgraded and I saw it's like 48,000 RF. Yes, like, yes. And I tried to put in the freaking iron and the charcoal and it only didn't let me put in both of these slots. It's like, what the hell? And I was searching and searching, trying to figure out. Then it turns out the texture pack, if you use one, it hides a little button here. Lock flux slot. And that, that is like basically what was the thing, you know? That was, that was a thing. And basically what I did was is just unlock that, chuck it in there, and I got myself some refined iron. So what we need to do is the following. Um, just trying to think, how are we going to get this stuff out? Hmm. Well, let us break this off because it's not really needed right now. Take that out. Okay, so what we will do is take our refined iron. I think I put it all over here and made an ingot cast and also refined iron and went to the smeltery and chuck it all in there. As you can see, all of these are starting to melt down and we got ourselves some fuel over here, which is that little guy over there. I think you can stack two of those and it will probably give you a little bit more lava. I'm not sure about that. Lava, lava, whatever. And as you can see, I got some <laughs> ridiculous amount of molten glass. And we need to get rid of that, but that'll do off camera. So as we can see, our fuel is getting a little bit low. So I was thinking we should quickly take a quick trip down to the mines and grab us some lava. lava. Whatever, man. And welcome back. So that was quite a trip. I'm glad that <laughs> those things became the mine became like a little slime farm. So we won't have any trouble with slime very soon. Okay, so let's see how much... Yeah, we still got it. All right, so let's switch over to the molten steel. And let's first do the... This uh, pickaxe head. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Yes! Yes! I am all powerful. Okay, so... Next, what we need to do is... How about we go ahead and... Swap this around. And we go ahead and add this guy back over here so it can start doing that for us. And if we go look, the molten steel. Let's switch that over to like that. And that. So that our molten steel doesn't get, you know, taken or drained out into blocks. Well, it just doesn't really matter. We can always you know, downgrade it. <laughs> That's a word. Yeah, that is a word, but I mean, is, is it... Whatever. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, refined iron. Maybe we can put it around here somewhere. There's extra buckets. We can leave one behind and put that in that. We still have to add that hardened flux to one of our tools, but I was thinking we'd just go ahead and make a pickaxe. So we've got the pickaxe head, and just go ahead and put this away. And we need paper, and lots of it. Do we have any paper? I don't see any paper. Yeah, we can always craft quickly a bunch. Go ahead and do this, like that. And give me all the paper. All your paper are belong to us. Okay, there we go. So, nice, nice, nice. Now if we go over here, and pickaxe. So we got our pickaxe head. We need the small binding and a small tool rod. So let's go ahead, put our paper over here. Tool rod. And small binding. So we can add like a ton of modifiers to it. Okay. And let's go over here. Do this. That is there. This is here. And this is here. Nice. Nice. Mining level cobalt. Now we can do some serious mining. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's take this hardened flux capacitor. And let's quickly see if we can add it somewhere. Like that. Uh, no, where do we upgrade? We upgrade somewhere. I just forgot where. This? No. This? No. This? No. Hmm. No, oh, wait, is it here? I'm not sure. No, 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 it's not here. 
Okay, I'm just quickly looking through these tools and stuff. Because I know it says somewhere you can add... See, we want Manulin. And we will check that out as soon as we can. Let's see, it says somewhere, somewhere. That's Silk Touch, Knockback, Beheading, Bane, Smite, Flux. What about a... Hmm... Adding a hard and flux compatible leadstone energy cell. Hmm, let me quickly see how a leadstone energy cell looks like. Leadstone energy cell. That's what we want. Okay, so it's just a... Okay, it's not too bad. It's lead, 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 lead for glass. Okay, do we have glass? Yes, we do. For glass... One of these, and lead. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Yes, we got that. And then we need copper and one electrum. Okay, so this is what we last tried to do. Electrum is made from electrum blend, which is made from pulverized gold and silver. Okay, so let's go ahead and polarize gold and silver. Let's do a bunch. Like so. Alright, uh, we can just probably have done it somewhere else. Okay, and let's go ahead and smelt these guys up. Oopsie daisy. And pop that in there. And we can quickly go and put this... Book back over here, over here, there we go. Nice, and we can probably take that out so it can continue on. I really have to do something just to, maybe I should just dig down one, put down a hopper and a chest next to it. That's probably what's gonna help. Okay, so how far are you? Have you? Yes, you've done very well. Okay, and two redstones. Rest on dust, actually. Okay, give me two of those. And do we need anything more? Copper. One, two, three, copper. All right. One electrum blend or electrum ingot. Give me that. And is it something like this? One, two, three. And let's do an energy cell. Okay, so can we combine you to anything? That, and... Why doesn't it want me to do that? Hmm. Hmm. This is odd. Very odd. Very, very odd. I'm, I'm just wondering. Can we take all of these guys out? And... This, and... Where is my... Where's my tool? Give me my tool. Nope, that's not working. That ain't working. Huh, okay, so that is a bit of a fail from my side. Hmm. Hmm, I, do not, I really do not know what to do. <laughs> I have to go look that up again. Let's see, is this modifiers? Let's quickly go through this. I just want to see really quickly. Let's see if we... Paper gives you one modifier. Okay. And... That's auto repair, smell... Okay, and... Large charge rest on flux uses energy instead of durability. Tools must have at least... Ew. Okay. I kind of know what's wrong. I've, oh, wait, no. I, I, I'm not sure. Alright, do this. Okay, give that back. And I am not sure if I'm doing this correctly. It's got a little bit of power in it. Okay. Well, this ain't gonna work for us. 
Ah, that's too bad. Really too bad. Really, really, really bad. It's not really bad, it's just too bad. And I still have to do these guys as well. I can put these guys in here. Well, at least we got a steel pickaxe where we can go and smash some cobalt and ardite into pieces and put them in the smeltery to make minelium. And minelium, it's, it's really, really strong. It's one of the most powerful or strongest, most durable kind of thing. If you know what I mean. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it. Oh, there it is. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to end it. Sorry for the short episode. I uh, just needed to do something. So, you know, just to get something out of our minds. This, uh, we're going to see maybe next time we're going to do this. Or maybe work on the, that's miscraft. Or we might work on the spawn around outside or something. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy this episode. If you found the information very useful. And I will see you guys next time. Cheers, eh?